All right, guys, just a quick preface to the tutorial that you're about to watch. As far as the previous tutorial and the ones that follow, we have recommended for your premium WordPress themes to be either Woo themes or DIY themes, which is otherwise known as Thesis theme. Um, both of these are fantastic. We're still standing by these. Their reputation amongst the WordPress community is extremely high. Um, so definitely check these out before you decide on which one of the providers that you'd like for your premium WordPress themes. But in the midst of all this, we have stumbled upon elegant themes, and I simply cannot be more impressed. As far as the look and feel of the template designs that they have, there's anywhere from 70 to 80 of them right now. Uh, just outstanding. And as far as their support, I have submitted numerous tickets to their support forum. They have moderators that crawl the sites on a daily basis. They offer coding suggestions, um, really quick, responsive uh, feedback just outstanding so I definitely want to add this to the list of premium WordPress themes that you can search for in your pursuit of changing the look and feel of your site so in the previous tutorial when I switched from this 2011 theme to small biz theme and back you could see how my site didn't stay intact and one of the things you saw was my test post and my hello world post those both disappeared and, the, and where test post is right now it said home all these widgets over here on the right moved down so I went back into the dashboard to try and figure out what happened and I scrolled down to settings and I came down to reading and here in reading where it says front page displays your latest post is selected and that's how it initially was well for some reason when I switched the theme it came down and it switched it to a static page and that's what that home was so I came back in here and I switched it back to your latest post I came back to my site and I refreshed and that's what got everything back to the way that it initially was so that's one of the reasons why I was suggesting when you're searching for your theme, you don't want to pick one and then add some content and spend some time on that theme and then switch it to another theme and switch it to another theme because things are going to get lost in the dashboard and it can be very time consuming. So two different themes that I want you to go to and look at. You're going to go to Woo Themes, which is wootheMes.com. And then you're going to go to Thesis Theme, which is going to be found under DIY Themes. This is the official thesis theme website right here and if you google thesis themes it's going to take you to thesis themes.com which takes you to thesis themes and I don't think that this is the official thesis themes um, website so I do know that this DIY themes is the official WordPress thesis theme framework um, you can come in here and you can see the plans and pricing you know, if you're a developer and you're going to have multiple sites, it's $164 to have unlimited access to all the different um, themes that they have. But for the personal option, which is going to give you one of the thesis themes on one live website, it's going to be $87, so $90 to be able to download this and use this theme. You can come in and you can go to the home. And from there, you can go over to pricing and you can go to showcase. So showcase is going to show you what thesis theme has to offer. And these are a bunch of different uh, templates that people are using on their sites and this will give you an idea if you click into each one of these it'll give you an example of what thesis themes can do to your site um, and just as I suggested when we were going through the host I said that you could either get hostgator.com you can get bluehost.com and as I'm going through these tutorials with you I'm showing you how Bluehost works well I'm gonna get woo themes and if you decide that you want to do a DIY theme and you want to do thesis please feel free to do this this is your site this is your project so you can choose Woo or you can choose Thesis or you can even stay with the 2011 theme that we have. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm going to go to WooThemes.com and I'm going to go through the themes. And the way that they have this set up is I can click through and I can view and I can see a demo of each one of these that they have. And these are this is just all of them. And I can click through to next and I can do all that. But if I want to, they even have it organized uh, by a filter and it's by type. So if I go to Magazine, for the type of site that we're going to be setting up, I'd say that magazine is going to be a good um, template. And this current right here, I really like the way that this one's set up. Go to view, and then I come over here to the demo, and it's going to open up currents. So as I scroll down, this is a WordPress blog right here. And this is the Woo theme that would slap right onto the top of your blog and change it and make it look like this. So I can click through these tabs. This is a, it's a live demo right here, so I can actually see how the site would look. And I mean, this is a really nice looking template that you can install or that you can purchase and you can install onto your WordPress. I can even come over here and click on these, scroll back and forth between these. 
And the cool thing about WooThemes is if I download Currents, if I purchase this and I download it, then I upload it to my site, they give me different styles that come as a default. So I can change it to blue, I can change it to green, so on and so forth, all the way down to brown. And that will completely customize the look of my site without me doing any coding at all. So this is actually really cool that they give you these styles. Now going back to the gallery, and if I come down to Canvas, this is another good one. I can come over here to the demo, and I can do the same thing with Canvas as well. So I can come through and I can click on how this is going to work and just kind of get an overall view of how the site's going to look and feel. And then with Canvas, I don't believe they give me more styles. Exactly, there's this default right here, which is going to be this whole white page. Uh, with this black navigation bar. Not a lot of things I can do with Canvas. You got this top navigation bar and you also have this lower navigation bar with these drop down menus. Pretty cool site. Out of the two, I think that I like the uh, currents more, but once again, this is your thing. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna find Fresh News and I'll come right back. All right, so now that we're at Fresh News theme, just to give you an idea of how this works, you're gonna have your top navigation bar over here, your bottom navigation bar. I know on our site right now, we only have a bottom navigation bar. And I don't necessarily like having two, but I'm going to show you some coding to where we can get rid of this whole top bar up here, which is going to be really cool if you get this fresh news theme. And um, like I showed you, there also there's going to be a bunch of default uh, styles that come in here. Let's say if I want to change it to brown or chrome or black and blue, uh, white, you know, I can change my site a number of different ways without doing any coding at all with this fresh news theme. And that's another reason why I really like this theme. Um, it's also going to give you this tabs widget over here where I can go from latest and comments and tags back to popular. Um, there's also going to be a subscribe widget over here, which is really nice. Um, and, you know, this continue reading, just the way that it's all set up. The look and feel of Fresh News is really nice. And this is a, a great way to get your site, you know, from a default theme to a really nice looking theme without you doing anything at all. So let's say if we want to purchase Fresh News theme and I go to purchase over here. And then I come down to buy this WordPress theme and I have two options. I can either do a developer option, which is going to be $150 and that's going to be for multiple sites, or I can do the standard one, which is going to give me for $70, I can buy this fresh news theme and it also gives me access to whatever other two themes from Woo themes that I'd like. So let's just go ahead and go to buy standard, uh, go through the process of spending the $70 and being able to download three themes from Woo themes. And what that's going to do is it's going to download a folder to your computer. And if you try and upload this folder into the back end of WordPress, it's going to ask for a zip file. Um, so this is not a zip file right here. And using a Mac, the way that you convert a folder to a zip file is you right click and you go to compress fresh news. And what that did was that created a zip file right here that I'm going to upload onto the back end of WordPress. So let's say if I go back to my dashboard, and I go to appearance and themes. I'm going to come to install themes and then I'm going to come down to upload and then I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to pick this fresh new zip click choose and then I'm going to install now alright and once WordPress has installed the theme I come over to activate and there it is. It went on ahead and put Fresh News tab in here. This is where I'm going to be doing a lot of the customizing as far as my theme goes. If I come back to Appearance and I go to my themes, I'm going to see how Fresh News is the current theme and it moved my 2011 down to the bottom. And then if I come back to my site and I refresh, and now Fresh News is my new theme. So you can see over where it says Archives and Categories and Meta, um, those all stayed intact. And you can also see where it says Test Post and Hello World. Those stayed intact as well because this is a quality theme. And now that we have Fresh News installed on the back end of WordPress, I want to go into the back end and show you how to customize your new theme.